hello and welcome to another video today we are going to be talking fast charge technology for smartphones fast charge technology for smartphones now let's get started now basic definition of fast charge technology for smartphones i think fast charge is it's it's a it's a basic word now that everybody uses but some people don't know what it is like what is fast charge ah, fast charging simply means charging a phone very fast or faster than conventional methods will apply or will allow rather let's put let's say allow charging a phone very fast now when we get down to the technicalities of it it means that when you are able to charge a phone faster than the speed of 10 watts usually between 15 to 18 watts is considered as fast charge i think since 2017 I, I, I don't think 10 watts has been considered fast charge since 2017. So it's basically from 15 watts and above, 15, 18, um, 20, 25, 30, 33, 45, um, 60, 66, 67, um, 80 watts, 120 watts, going all the way up to 240 watts. I think some companies have even shown me have done you know, 300 watts. I think it's that Xiaomi or Oppo that has done 300 watts. Let's talk about let us talk about how fast charge works, and I think that's very important. Many people don't know how fast charge works, so it's very simple. I've, I've done videos about how smartphones charge, so please uh, you may want to check out there. So, how do smartphones charge? Smartphones charge in three phases. There is a rapid phase, there is a um, constant phase, or rather, there's a slow charge phase, and then it's a trickle charge phase. So those are the three three main parts rapid slow or constant and then finally trickle those are the three the three main phases so in in rapid charge the battery is open and it will, it has the capacity to accept a lot of current so that's the fastest phase that the battery usually charge rapid phase usually begins from zero percent and ends at somewhere around 70 percent 70 75 percent so after that, you then get the slow charge phase. So if you notice, if you're charging your phone between 0 to 70, it's usually, it's usually okay. But then between that um, 70, 80 to 90, it tends to slow down a bit. And then between 98 to 100, it's even slower. That's the last phase called the trickle phase. It's where you, you know, that there's already too much current in the battery, so you don't want to pump more electricity in. It could be a fire hazard, so they just let the battery charge in little by little by little by little until it's full. So fast charging takes advantage of that first phase to make sure that it gets in as much current as much possible and it does it by you know ramping the voltage up so that that's so, the, so that a lot of current will be able to enter into the battery in that period of time. That's basically the method in which how it works now there, there are, there's two technologies for doing this there's two technologies for you doing this the, f the first ones are bulk inverters the second ones are charge pumps now bulk inverters are a, a type of chip right that tends to increase voltage and reduce current or increase current and reduce voltage for example see it like this now if you are charging a phone a phone that charges at 25 watts of speed whatever happens if the, if the voltage is going up, bring the, the current down, so we get 25 watts. If the, if the voltage is coming down, take the current up, so that, that's just an example of how these things work. So that one, we call it a buck inverter or a step up, step down inverter. So the next one, we call them charge pumps. Charge pumps are basic DC to DC converters that help to increase the voltage so that more current is going to get into the battery. So those are the two technologies that are used, two types of technologies that are used to like, do this. Now, let's talk about the next, let's talk about like the open source technologies, types of battery fast charging technologies that are used by smartphones today. The types, the names rather, that's what we're going after now. And the most popular among them is USB PD, that is USB power delivery. This is a, it's a type of charging technology that's developed by USB, the guys who are in charge of your ports, your USB cables and all that. So that's the type of fast charge that's developed by them. Currently we are on USB PD 3.1 and it can charge as high as 240 
watt speed that's crazy and then the next one there's also another open source okay this one is not exactly open source but a lot of companies use it is the qualcomm quick charge or qualcomm qc if you check the charger you see qc written on it that means it supports qualcomm's quick charge technology and we are currently on quick charge 5.0 then also another technology that you want to be checking out is the mtk pump express but this one is largely been forgotten MediaTek has largely abandoned this to use USB PD because USB PD is, I think it's a lot more efficient than their own Pump Charge Express. So Pump Charge Express has largely faded off and you can only ever find this on old phones, right? So the way it is now, any company or rather any smartphone that uses a USB port should support USB PD. It's universal. So that's one. Then secondly, any smartphone that uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon SoC should support qc fast charge so basically that's mostly how it works then let's move on let's talk about the proprietary ones when you say proprietary charging technology you're talking about the ones that are designed by phone companies for their own phones and you can hardly find it working anywhere else for example if a company like say huawei designs a fast charge technology for their own smartphone it's not going to work on xiaomi it's not going to work on apple iphone it's not going to work on samsung so yeah let's Funny enough, we're actually going to be starting with Huawei. So Huawei's um, fast charge technology is known as the supercharge, or I think there's a more modern version now called the super power charge. And that one tops out at around 88 watts of fast charge. That's really, really impressive. Then you've got, um, you go to um, Samsung and Samsung, Samsung have got the super fast charge, super fast charge. How Huawei is super powered charge, Samsung is super fast charge, and I think we're currently on super fast charge 2.0 that can deliver around 45 watts. It's decent, not as impressive as Huawei's 88 watts. I don't know why Samsung, Samsung has been really slow on pushing out fast charge technology. I don't know if they have reasons for it. I'm not very sure, but they say 45 watts is okay. 45 watts is okay so let's move on let's talk about the motorola's turbo power so if you use this a motorola smartphone they've got their motorola turbo power and then it usually tops out at around 68 watts now the motorola turbo power is also compatible with qualcomm's uh, qc and usb speed so let's move on let's talk about apple apple's iphone stop out at around 20 watts and apple doesn't really have their own fast charge technology in fact they borrow they copy from uh, pd usb they use usb pd power delivery technology to charge so they don't really this whole fast charge madness it doesn't really concern them although for their macbooks they tend to use the 96 watts pd um, fast charging for MacBooks. Obviously, those ones have bigger batteries and they need to be charged faster. Imagine charging a big battery of a laptop with only 20 watts. What, which are you going to charge it for? And then the next one, we're going to be talking about Xiaomi. Now, Xiaomi is one of those crazy charging companies that have carried this whole market of fast charge on their head. They are like, this is this is our race. And they're actually one of the, they are actually one of the companies at the forefront of you know, pushing fast charge technologies. And they've got several. They've got Xiaomi fast charge or what we call the MI fast charge. They've also got the MI turbo charge and of course they've got the MI hyper charge. That's crazy hyper charge. So you'd start saying that the MI fast charge usually is around 18 watts. Turbo charge is around 33 watts and then hyper charge is around 67, 120 all the way up to 240 possibly even 300 watts of fast charge is crazy now i, I myself I, I have used the 18 watts fast charge with the redmi note 7 i have used the um turbo charge with the uh um redmi note 9 pro and i currently i use 67 watts fast charge and i can tell you they're fast and they are mostly safe if you use it sparingly so the last company uh okay no there's two more companies here and that's oppo Oppo uses their VOOC, VOOC, and their Super VOOC charging. And then they can top out at a maximum of 240 watts. And then there's also Infinix, Infinix with their X charge technology. And, you know, they're also running up there. I think they, they've, they've crossed the 200 watts um, charge, fast charge barrier, and they are pushing all the way. So what should you use this information for? First off, now you know how phones fast charge. You usually fast charge between zero to 80% roughly. 
they take advantage of the first phase of charging between 0 to 100 and that's when they charge the fastest. So anything beyond 80% is just basically, nah, the phone is going to, they have charge controllers inside the smartphones that are like, okay, it's got an 80, uh, switch back to normal charge. That's the first one. Secondly, if you want to buy a smartphone and you're looking for fast charge, you need to make sure that you buy a phone that supports fast charge. I think most companies really advertise it. You see 18 watts, you see 20, 25, 33, it depends. Like my smartphone charges at 67 watts, so I know what to do. So if you, if you buy a phone with a certain amount of fast charge, that would determine the type of, the speed at which it will charge one, and then the type of charger you get for it. Now, mostly some companies tend to give you the specified charger that will charge at that top speed. It's not all the companies that do it. Some companies want you to buy. So companies will support uh, 33 watts fast charge, but they only give you an 18 watts charger. And they'll tell you that if you want a 3 watts fast charge, go and buy a 33 watt charger. So some companies do these things. So you should put that in mind. And then if you need a new charger, also make sure to, make, to, to check. For example, now if you're using, say, an Infinix phone, you don't want to buy an Infinix X charger, you, know, you, should be, you should go and get a USB PD charger because more often than not, Infinix phones, they use MediaTek SOCs. If you use if you if you use a, a, a smartphone from a company that uses Qualcomm SOCs, Qualcomm SOCs have the blessing uh, have the blessing that Snapdragon phones that using Snapdragon have the blessing of being compatible with both USB PD and Qualcomm QC. So basically, any charger from any of the current technologies works on phones using Snapdragon SOCs. But on phones using MediaTek, they will not be able to really support. Although I think there was a case where. Uh, Qualcomm were going to sue a company that were using some of their charging patents even though they are not using their SOCs <laughs> so that one is there but phones that generally use MediaTek SOCs tend to stick with only USB PD support for charging so yeah that's that if you've got any questions there are some places that you felt like I didn't cover enough please make sure to leave comments make sure to like subscribe share like subscribe share small actions like this that have small channels like mine go so that's basically it on fast charge guess i'll see you in the next one cheers and bye bye